Greetings, RC Model Geeks! And here we are in the shed, yet again, second day running. Salt Marsh Pete's here, Mad Collins turned up behind the camera. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Happy New Year. <laughs> Likewise. For part two of the Rip Max Trainer Resurrection. <laughs> good word, good word. Yeah, good word. Um, so, so far this morning, uh, I've removed the elevator. I had to pull all the pins out of that. It was pinned again. You see all those holes. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So we can strip the covering off that once we've taken the horn off. The next thing we've got to do um, is strip the covering just off this horizontal stab. Now I had a quick go at trying to uh, get the horizontal stab out, but it's um, it's well secured in there. I don't really want to go there if I can help it. So it's going to be a matter of just carefully cutting the uh, the covering around here, blah blah blah, and then recovering the tail. So that is where we are. Oh, also we've got to do the bottom. The, the, that bottom yellow panel has got a few splits in it and stuff. So we're going to redo the bottom of the plane as well. We're going to leave the sides and the uh, uh, and the top and the vertical fin. Um, yeah. So that is where we are. Um, I think Pete could probably take the uh, undercarriage off as well, mate. Eh? Will do. Uh, and then we can um, work on that bottom bit. Work on that bottom bit. See if we can uh, remove it uh, fairly easily. Carefully removing it, not doing too much damage to anything. Yeah. So should I do it? You're yeah. probably better off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the. Sorry, Pete. I mean, <laughs> you can do the screws, mate. <laughs> I'll do the screws. Yeah. One hand. It won't. It won't matter if the screwdriver slips. No, 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 no. I'll do the screws. <laughs> Yeah. So we get that done. Yeah. Oh, the old dustbin men are here today. Yeah, well, let's get the undercarriage off, eh? Right. And then we'll be back soon. Okay. So, old Salty, he's getting good with his dodgy hand. Look at those rusty old screws. Yeah, those rusty old screws. <laughs> Phil's here! Yeah! Oh, rusty old screws. Whee! Yeah, talking of rusty old screws. How you doing, mate? All right. <laughs> I'm all right, mate. You're all right, mate. Uh... Yeah, leave your gloves on, mate. Uh, then you won't put your thumbs for anything like <laughs> Pete did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a bit dark there, but there's Phil. <laughs> so what well, you... Phil is a dark horse. <laughs> He's only like one, anyway. Anyway. There he is. That's it. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> well, going by his feet, he is. Oh, <laughs> 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 my feet. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Phil's big thumbs crush the plane. Yeah, I'll tell you what. So does Pete. That's a I mean, It's all him singing it. I've had a look at that video. Well, you, of course, it's all him singing, singing it. I mean, have you well, had it's any, not me singing. It's you, him singing. Pete it's, and Ryan singing. Not him. Well, now they're miming, mate. Yeah, have you not? Have you only just noticed that, Phil? I know. I could. <laughs> if if enough people send me a pound. I will release the raw footage of <laughs> Pete and the Swallow uh, singing that song. <laughs> yes, it's quite amusing. And for uh, an extra 50 quid, I'll, re I'll release the one of Phil singing it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I've got a lovely voice. Oh, mate. No, it's a silent. Oh, he's off. <laughs> hey, can you repeat oh, and that? And again, and again. <laughs> I think you just found your new singer coming. Oh, Phil, I've got just a track for you, mate. <laughs> death <laughs> metal. Yeah, death metal. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> uh, we? Did, did we say we've done the bottom, mate? No, not yet. Right, go on then. <laughs> right, so they've um, got the covering off the bottom. After removing the um, undercarriage, there. undercarriage there, which didn't want to come out because the uh, spikes are glued in, yeah. well glued. Yeah, and uh, now we're just uh, nice construction actually. Yeah, nice push rod. Um, and now we're going to remove the covering off the tail, which we've just sort of started to do here. As you can see, it, look, it, it's quite brittle. It rips off like Rip Max. It does. 
comes off quite easily. Now, um, are you going to have a go, Pete? Yeah, let's we'll, just we'll get see if we can get some live right. damage, gentle. He was in there like a rat up a drain pipe. He was, wasn't he? Thumb, thumb. Yeah, with his big old thumbs. thumbs. <laughs> they must be the same size as Phil's, you know. Well, they're not far off, are they? No. Do you ever play cricket, Phil? Not really, no. Well, ain't that then? I was a kid, I don't play football. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, uh, um, he's trying to be gentle now. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, it's done. Out come the excuses. Yeah. Have we done a cut down here? No. <laughs> right, I say, so I'll only go as far as that at the moment then. Looking good. <coughs> That's it. Yeah, just keep peeling bits off, mate. You keep peeling. Do you want me to slash that for you? Get in there. He likes that mosquito, uh, Rob. I don't know. Can't remember, mate. I think it was 633, wasn't it? Six, three, three. Yeah. Yeah, that carried all as much as Lancaster weight. You could actually carry a terrific amount of weight for the mosquitoes. Probably because it made of wood. Oh, careful going down there, Pete. Hey, Phil. Could be. I mean. Mm. Here we are exposing. Oh, yeah. Playing better than that. That's the sea horn in my book. Really? Fast, what book's that? Seahornet, the fastest twin engine plane ever. Is it? Mr. Yeah. Seahornet. Hmm. Or the Hornet, but the Hornet never really, never really had many Hornets. It was all Seahornets. Navy had them. Ah, oh, Navy. Here we go. Brilliant. Eight minutes dangerous. Mm. Did our Winkle Brown fly one? Yeah. I thought so. He landed one on, he landed a full-size mosquito on an aircraft carrier. Really? Yeah. Which was a bit dodgy. I bet it was. Yeah, you could testify there's lots of planes. Read that book yet, Sagittarius Rising? Yeah, I've read a good third of it. Any good? Yeah, it's very good. Excellent, let me know what it's like and then I might read my copy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. I've got, I've got another book because this is a little cram stone yet. Uh, what was that? Oh, um, First Flight. First, book First book? Light? First Flight. First Flight. What's that about? Flying. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat who's. Well, that it's a story of one particular well known weller, is it? Je Je Jeffrey Willem? Yeah, Willem. You've, you've read that book already, mate. I thought I had, yeah. I'll <laughs> give it to you. I know. Sheila bought it for me. Yeah, I, I, I gave you that book a couple of years ago. I probably gave it back. Yeah, you have. And Jeff, then you Jeff, gave it back Jeffrey to Jeffrey Willem. First, first, it's called First Light. First Light? Light. Oh, Light. Yeah. Um, it's a good book, actually. They made a, they made a, a, a mini film out of it on BBC a few years ago. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it's a good film, that. Yeah, Jeffrey Willem. Did you see the video of that bloke who built your own Spitfire in America? No. Worth looking at. Is it? He, he put a... I think it was a Kitty Hawk engine or something like that in it. But uh, he couldn't get a Merlin. Couldn't afford a Merlin. Really? He built it out of wood. Yeah. That's no, it's not really a Spitfire then, is it? It's more like a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, don't bend that carefully. It's bending. It's for main beams for the wing. Yeah. Um, hey. Hey. Even, hey. even got the wash on the wing. You know what they call it? Wash. Ooh. Wash. Wash. What about? Was it dirty? <laughs> and that sort of wash. Now you get a certain amount of wash on a wing. You know what I'm talking about. I know, but it just sounds good. You're trying to describe it. Yeah. Is it twisting the wing? And that, 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 that. What the wash out? Wash out. That's, That's the one. Wash out. Oh. So he actually mentioned that he managed to get the, 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 the washout in the wings. I think so. Or did you just imagine him saying it? I know it was, I know it was raised, and you know you get all the queries afterwards. And it was raised, did you get washed where did you Where did you watch this video? This morning. What, on YouTube? On YouTube. Oh, well, that explains it. What do you mean it explains it? Mm. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Here, have you heard of a herald? 
Herald. Herald. Yes. As in Hark the Herald? Hark the Herald, Angels Sing. Like airplane Herald. Yeah. Four engine. Like Ooh. a dove. Like, like a dove, but bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Got four yeah. engines instead of yeah. two. Well, I know all about planes. Old planes, anyway. Yeah, we are old. Well, yeah. He's so old, Lee. How dark. old are you now, Phil? 83. That's the same age as Elvis, Elvis isn't it? Elvis, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming eventually. <laughs> Oh god, I should never mention that. <laughs> What's the difference in between Phil and Elvis then? Nothing. Uh, well, a few months, I believe. <laughs> yeah. The Phil, Phil's got bigger thumbs. Yeah, well, that's right. That's why he can play the guitar. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a long take. Oh, mate, this is just like Waffle in the Shed, isn't it? Yeah, Waffle in... Hi guys, welcome to Waffle, waffle in the Shed. shed. Well, to to Come down here, Phil, I can't see you, you're all black. Yeah. I'm not black. Well, that's not me. That's I'm white. Pete. Pete's a rocker at art. Oh, it's coming, it's coming from near you, Pete. He said I'm black. I'm not black. No, you're not black now. <laughs> but when you were back a bit, you were black. <laughs> back in black? <laughs> yeah. Back when in black. black. As your new neighbour. As your new neighbour, <laughs> boss. Oh, oh, God. And you got that off your Pete. I'm getting there. I'm that's getting 20% right. of your viewership gone. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like 50% of your card gone. Don't cut into that deep, mate, because that will weaken the uh, the uh, elevator. Do you want me to carry on rolling? Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Rolling, I'm still rolling. Roll hide. Three wheels on my wagon, and I'm still rolling along the Cherokees and Phil's big knees are chasing <laughs> after me. <laughs> oh, it's got nothing on the sausage roll song. You're going up on the car then. Eh? No. No, no the head's like, out there, mate. I've got it skimmed. Pete keeps, keeps turning up. Already? Yeah. I dropped it off at 7 o'clock yesterday morning right. and it was ready by 11.30. Okay, yeah, go and have a look at Phil, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, mm, OK. New gasket. Right, Phil, tell us all about this head then. Head? Yeah. Well, it's off of that car there. It is. What, that one with the reef on it? Vauxhall. The Vauxhall, yeah. Oh, I've got a reef. It's died, has it? <laughs> yeah, it's died. Yeah, this, this head was warped. Uh-huh. Is that blue down or something? No, that's um, that's where it's been skimmed. That's a nice shiny... Oh, it looks like a gasket. It does, doesn't it? That's a nice shiny aluminium underneath. I see, yeah. Because the engine got hot and overheated, and, of course, the aluminium head warped. Blue. And warped the, warped the thing. Yeah. So that's head gasket so job, basically. It got away with it. got away with it. so close to the valves, isn't it? Valve. Yeah, it's just cleaned up. Just cleared. Just get away with that. Yeah. Good job we didn't take too much off, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. But it's a good engineering company. I can't remember. There's a one guy on his own that does it. Um, Very good. Rob will probably tell Sorry, you. Sorry, Ports. Um, I used to use Vospers. Do you? I did do. Right. I used to oh, do. It. I used knees. to do that sort of thing. Yeah. They supply the bearings of everything. Yeah. And he uses just the minimum amount of um, engineer's blue. Just yeah. so, just see that touch up, that last little bit. Mm. But yeah, so we got that to um, put back together and get that car running. That was quick, isn't running. it? Don't, don't hang about, does he? No. Yeah. Been into Portsmouth. Been in twice, I suppose, to Portsmouth. Yeah, he took it in at seven o'clock yesterday morning, I think it was, and got it back at 11. Really? It's a one-man band, that's all he does, is skim cylinder heads. Oh, God. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. That's enough about that, I think. Better go back in the shed and see what the guys are doing. But, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here's the latest addition to um, Rob's fleet. And what plane is this, then, Phil? Mosquito. Yeah. Twin engine, brushless. Merlin engines. Uh-huh. Blue engine. Mm-hmm. Um, carried more weight, nearly as much weight as a Lancaster. Oh, right. It was very, very good. Yeah, so I've read. Very good load bearer. Used to carry a lot of weight. Mm. That would have been better to use them 
the Lancasters during the war, but the, yeah. this was a lighter edition, wasn't it? The musket. Yeah. So we'll. Well, use the Lancaster that. used six people. I think right. They only used three. Oh, what crew? Mm. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, it could fly with two, but I. Mean. Yeah. Hmm. So we'll probably um, go through that, make sure everything's tickety boo. Yeah, yeah. And give that a fly down the old beach. It's got nice big wheels on it. Lovely. For yeah, the uh, for the stones. Yeah. That's what very nice that is. Yeah. Right. Are the motors in there? Yeah, the motors are in there. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, brushless. Twins. Terrific. Hmm. Meanwhile, back in the shed. Meanwhile, back in uh, the shed. Do they fold the wings? Wheels come up on them? No, it's no. fixed under carriage, mate. Fixed. Yeah, fair enough. But we have got some. Only edge weight, isn't it? We have got some retracts that will go on there. Yeah, I know we stripped them down. Used oh, did we? Bits out of something else. Oh, okay. Really. So yeah, we got the covering pretty much uh, off the tail. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, so we can. Uh, basically recover that and that bit and uh, just this little bit to go and just putting a light score there we don't want to try and cut into the wood really because otherwise your tail are going to snap off mm. I saw something about helicopters sent the video was it you? Um, oh, oh, the Raptor, Raptor 30. The Raptor 30 V2. V2, yeah. Oh, got one there. Where's the source from? Where do they come from then? Cloud models. Cloud. Right. Covering time. Can anyone remember when we last used Checker? Mm. Checker. Well, actually, yes, because yeah, I was using your, your checker on my uh, Barnstormer. Oh, no. I oh, know, sorry, mate. <laughs> I thought I paid you that. It's part, it's part of the payment, mate, of... Uh... <laughs> part of the payment. <laughs> uh, right, so, there it is. Are you going to show Pete how to do it? I'm watching. He knows how to do it. I've, I've let him hold the uh, iron before. Oh, OK. What it'll do, it'll <coughs> cut the ends. What we need to know is which way round is that elevator, which is the underneath. That is the underneath. So, it's got to go that way. Because the checker is going underneath. The mm -hmm. checker's only on the bottom. Ch -ch 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 checker. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, cover in there. Not anymore. It's gone. Right. So, we've got to peel off. This is Obby King covering, by the way. We've got to peel off the backing. There you go. And then we're going to stick that down there like that. Actually, we're going to flip it over because uh, we need to uh, line everything up. So we're going to uh, line everything up with the um, with the back like that, and then we've got to get these squares roughly in the right place, which is about like that. Mm-hmm. Then we've got to put Colin's phone in the crusher. Yeah. Again. Again. Well, yours went off earlier, Pete. I don't know what that tune was. Might get uh, copyrighted for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so we're just going to tack this down. Like that. Just got to make sure we're getting it all in the right places. So I'm lining up the square on the checker with the trailing edge of the... Uh, Elevator. <laughs> oh, 
but come on down. Alright. It's about like that. Oh, I've got some room there. So that's basically on there, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna. So we've done the ends and the middle, yeah. And now we're just gonna work our way along. I'm doing it this way just because it's quick, mm -hmm. but ideally, you know, you just want to keep tacking it in places as we go along. You know, small tacks, but hmm. I'm pretty confident. Uh, so I can take a few little shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you come, the, you want to pull your cover in, make sure it's tight. You don't want it loose and flapping around. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just wrapping it around, holding it tight, tack, Taut. and then it's there. Yeah, same again here, just a little bit of a stretch. Tack it. Tack it. Always moving the iron away from the material. Because if you drag your iron back like that, you're going to create wrinkles. Pushing it that way as you're tacking it down keeps the uh, covering tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is pretty damn good. Now we're only doing half of this uh, elevator checker, the underneath. Right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we can uh, I'll just get this corner nice and tight there. And then we're just going to start trimming bits off. Ideally, you want a sharp pair of scissors. <laughs> yeah. I was just about to say that. That's what he wants for Christmas then. Well, he's got a long time to wait then. Yeah. Okay, it's coming together. Hmm. We're going to get some little flappy bits there, that's okay. Right, we just want to go along this edge. You'll do the next bit, Pete. You revisit that scissors, that might be alright. Revisit them? Revisit them. Hmm. Give it the old hammer. Uh, okay, so now we've got a nice edge. Yeah, because we've ironed it down to the edge of this uh, elevator, and so we should get a fairly nice cut. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're now ironing along that 45 degree, because when we come to cut it again, we want a uh, a nice glued edge. All right. You haven't got a sharp knife, you've had it. Hmm. Or a sharp pair of scissors. Shall I move the scissors? Eh? No, mate, it's all right for the moment. Phil's determined to get the hammer out and bash the scissors. Yes. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. Put it on the bottom. Oh, no, it don't want that bit done, mate. I think they're actually blunt. Right, so we cut that. Seal. 
sealing that down. Getting that edge. So you also get a little flap there that you can just go snip. Right, so that is one half uh, covered. Hmm. Now we're not going to um, heat them. Uh, heat, not going to shrink it down yet. We're going to do the other side. What happens if you've got something like this? If you go now shrink that, it'll bow. What happens is it'll go like that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, before you shrink the yeah. covering down, put the other side on. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. They're going to make sense. Your job. Right. Well, what's going to be white? So hopefully we've got enough white. White should be alright. White. So we need to find a nice straight bit. Can we carry on rolling? Yeah, why not? Okay. It won't take long to do this. So. Mm -hmm. If I was doing it, it would be, and we'll be back in a while. Yeah, it would be a while. That was rather cutting, wasn't it? Uh, and if it was Phil. <laughs> and if it was Phil, we'd be back in a week. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think you've got a lot of slapping to do today, Phil. <laughs> slapping? Yeah, he's, yeah. Already, he's already had a go at me today. Yeah. So this part, we just want it bigger than the... Uh... Attack is the best form of defence. Yeah. That's all right. You've got Pete in between me and you. Right. You know I love you really. Yeah, I love you too, Phil. You ever use your sander? What? He's asking, do you use your belt sander? Yeah. I reckon that'd be quite useful, that belt sander. <clears throat> so, obviously we've got nothing to line up this time. So this should be a bit quicker than doing the checkers. Mm -hmm. Obviously we want to get it so we've got overlap. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to go up here, I'm going to hold, pull that up so it's tight and I'm just going to seal it like that. And then same thing. On the other side, make sure that's pulled tight, pull that up and round, seal it. Okay. Nice. Then we're going to go for the middle, so make sure it's flat, wrap it round tight, tack it, tack it. Yep. Down here a bit, same thing, use your fingers, pull it round tight, tack it. Tack it. Yep. Same at that end. Make sure it's tight. The less shrinking you've got to do, the better. Okay. And then we're just going to seal all the way along this edge. So use your thumb to push it round. Tack it. Yeah, push it round, hold it down, tack it. Just work your way along. Don't worry too much about the ends, we'll sort them out. See, I'm just pushing it round and then tacking it down. Okay. And then the same on this side. So we're pushing it round with your finger. Tack it. Tack it. Yeah, we can quickly work our way along. Alright, 
a join doesn't need to be too critical along this hinged edge because you won't see it. So always hide your critical joins, you know, uh, and something where you're not going to see it. Right, we'll trim up this uh, side here. We can do that one now. Like that. We can now sort out this end bit, wrap it around with your finger, get it tight, tack it, always moving away from you again. Alright, trim it off, flush as you can, second attempt, it's not very nice there is it? Sometimes you can use scissors, other times it's better to use a knife. Right, edge up there, there, we've got a flap there, needs to come off. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. Make sure that, that is tacked down. Yeah, and there, it's the same thing again. So we've got to wrap that around there like that. Hold it down with your finger, tack it. Yeah, just get that final little bit that's there. And we've got a flap. Chunk it off. Revisit that with the iron. Okay. So then we just want to make sure that this is tacked all the way along the back edge. Like that. Okay. Then you can either scissor it, depending on how much flap you got left, you can either scissor it or run a knife down it. Um, either way will generally work. Just depends how good your scissors are. But we're aiming right for the edge. So, you know, no special tools really needed there. We're just getting the scissors to cut right on the edge. Okay. And then we're just going to roll that round and seal it. And then just make sure everything's sealed. And that is the basics. Now we've got to do is shrink it. Now nah, we're going to use this, mate. No. Just make sure it's clean. So, iron. Now we're not pushing down here, we're just gliding this over the top. Alright, just gliding it over the top. We're not pushing down, all we're doing is gliding it over the top so that the covering shrinks. Yeah, if you try and push down on this, you'll iron wrinkles into the covering. Yeah, you don't actually want the covering to stick to the wood at the moment. You just want it to shrink. There you go. Alright. All the way along. Yeah, just gliding over the top. You can see it's not stuck down, yeah? You can see where it's just stuck at the edge, you can see the difference, it's it's not stuck at all. <laughs> then we'll flip this over, do the other side. See the wrinkles going out of that? Yeah, we're still not pressing down, we're just gliding over the top. And you'll see all the wrinkles disappear, if by magic. That always impresses you, doesn't it, Pete? I love this bit. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, we're just shrinking out all of the wrinkles. Okay, so we'll make sure it's straight, it's fairly straight. So, next thing, and this is where if you use a flat surface it helps a lot, because <clears throat> then you can make sure your surface is completely straight, is, I smell, I smell castor oil. Mm, probably them engines. Yeah, probably. So we're just going to heat that up. Okay, and then we're going to rub it. All right, and you can see now the difference between a bit that's been shrunk, I'm oh, sorry, a bit that's been rubbed down, and a bit that isn't. You'll actually see the pattern of the wood coming through. Mm. Yeah, it, it makes it, it looks like it's been painted then. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but you're actually just seeing the texture of the wood. Alright, so this is rubbing that the covering down onto the wood now. So the glue is then bonding the covering. If you did this before, you'd get wrinkles. It's going. What you want to try and do is keep away from the, if it's a built up structure, you want to try and keep away from the holes because if you push into the holes, they tend to show up. Now you can get a, um, a boot that goes on these, yeah, which is like this one here. So you can actually do it like this without using a cloth. So if I put the boot on, yeah. You can then iron it down like that. There's two ways to do it. Right, but this tends to get it a little bit hotter, and when it's all sealed, you can see it's bubbling up a little bit. It's because the air inside's warming up. Whereas if you do it without the the mitt over, you don't get so much bubbling. But that bubbling will go away when it cools down. Hmm. It's just the air trapped in those um, cutout, those round holes, is expanding and just blowing it out because you know this is a sealed bag now, isn't it, of plastic? Yeah. So when you heat the air up, it's going to uh, bubble it out. Expand. Yeah. And you can see that where we just iron that down. See, it's got a, got a bit of a curve going on there now. Mm hmm. Hence why, do it on a flat bench, when you do this side it should all come out straight. Which, let's give this a go. So these, these are the two techniques for rubbing down your covering. Like I said, I don't like the sock one so much because it tends to bubble the, uh, the covering more. Hmm. It's nearly there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. All covered. Pretty straight. Yeah. And I, you know, I'd say these are harder than doing a wing. You know, because it's small and fiddly, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, simple as. Fuzz next? Um, possibly. <coughs> oh, hang on, no. We've got the tail as well, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, so that's going to look quite nice in there, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's going to look beautiful. So all we've got to do, and of course the hard bit, mm. is uh, <laughs> uh, is getting all the checkers to line up. Mm. 
yeah because you don't want to you know you don't want it looking odd do you um, so yeah that's the fun bit anyway there you go that's how you uh, cover something um, I'm sure there is some um, there's, there's some tips in there somewhere <laughs> you might get an idea of how to do it but I'll tell you what you know if you want good covering use the Obby King covering because uh, it, it it's so good mm. you know for, for plastic covering Hmm. You know, if you want fabric covering, you've got to use uh, Solatex if you can still get it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, for plastic looks, um, this Hobby King stuff, you know, seven, eight quid for five metres. Oh, you can't go wrong. No. And it just goes on beautiful. Excellent. There you go. This video's getting longer and longer. Yeah. You've got some editing to do. Back soon. Bye. OK, well, uh, Mad Collins gone home and left us uh, to it. So uh, we got carried away, didn't we, Pete? And uh, <laughs> took all the covering off the fuselage <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, we uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we're looking at it and the horizontal stabiliser hadn't been glued on uh, parallel with the wing. So it had to come off. And we had to lie. It was bloody hard work getting that off because it was epoxied on there. Um, but we got it out, uh, and there it is. And we managed to pretty well clean it up. Not too bad. So yeah, so we're going to recover the whole thing. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, there's a few little cracks in the uh, in the wood. Uh, through like um, yeah, like there. Um, basically the wood has shrunk over the years um, you know and it's cracked uh, so uh, we had to basically um, you know wood glue that back together uh, and we're gonna let that dry off and that should be all good there's a few of those there's like one here that are dried out and cracked this one here you can see that started to crack from the corner of the, the hole that had been cut out and it just runs straight down there. And then we have a couple at the bottom. And there's a couple at the bottom as well that were just cracks. So yeah, we basically rubbed wood glue into those cracks and when that's dried off we'll just um, a little bit of filler over it. Bob's your uncle. Um, good as new or better. So yeah. Um, I think that's about it for the day, really, because we need to let that wood glue dry off now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, quite a long video today, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, as long as it hasn't disappeared from the uh, SD card. Um, uh, we'll be good. So, there's definitely going to be a third part and probably a fourth part to this now. Exactly. Um, whether that will be tomorrow... Or not, I don't know yet. Probably will be some of it. Um, maybe do some more covering and stuff like that. But yeah, it's coming together. So that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all for part three of um, something or other. Pete's problem, P P Pete's problem Rip Rip Max. Max trainer, uh, big thumbs, broken wood. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got to decide on a colour. Yeah, and, a, and an engine. And an engine, yeah. Um, um, and whether to go electric. Because um, somebody, somebody said in the comments that they're interested in the 53. Uh, so if that is the case, then we might then transfer this to electric, eh? And we're just waiting for the two brand new bearings of the 53. Yeah, we're going to obviously reassemble the 53 and then run it up anyway. Um, it does look For good. all those people that are, uh, have never had a go at glow. Um, yeah, uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I suppose I'd better take this off now, wouldn't I? Oh yeah, you've got to peel that off there as well. Seeing that we've decided... That we're going to do our own yeah. thing. Uh, which would be better anyway. Um, we had a go at trying to get some of the wrinkles out, didn't we, that were on the fuselage side. And um, uh, heat didn't do it. And so that was another reason why uh, we decided just to 
rip it off. So we're going to undecide checker. Yeah. TBC. What the fuse is going to be. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to do the. I don't think we'll do the fuse large checker now underneath, because we're already doing that. Because of uh, the, the rest okay, of it. Okay. So, so wings. W w wings. Wings will have checker on them underneath. The tail will have checker underneath. The fuse large might be white. And um, and pink. I quite like pink. Do you? I quite like pink. Yeah. Only because it's a big bright colour you can see in the sky. Well, that is true. That is true. Um, I don't know what colour it'll be, but it'd be white and something. Yellow? We've got some yellow. I just saw the old yellow down there. We could do it like we did the uh, Crescent Bullet, maybe. Yellow and black and white. Yellow, black and white, yeah. Mm. We will see. Uh, it's all up in the air at the moment. But, uh, yeah, if, uh, who was it, Gadget, Gadget Mart, I think, was the guy that was interested in the 53. Um, if you want to email me, I'll, uh, I'll put you directly in touch with old Saltmarsh, who's, uh, whose engine it is. And uh, you can uh, come up with some kind of, um, of deal or whatever. Right. But we will be doing a video of it running, won't we? Yeah. So you'll see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does look. We, well... If you look at this, yeah, we haven't done anything to that. There is no oil or anything in there. So that I 53 mean, was uh, never... Oh, if ever, yeah. It was, it was run once, I think. Um, maybe twice, you know. I don't know. It, well, it's not run in, so... Yeah. But, yeah, we will be, uh, we'll be running up the engine anyway on the old uh, test stand. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. Catch you all tomorrow. Yeah. Or day after. Yeah, probably tomorrow. See you all then. Cheers all. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal paypal.me forward slash RC model geeks if you want to contact us you can email us RC model geeks at gmail.com we look forward to seeing you in the next video